we're going to cover scapular position. A lot of times our life lives, we're forward and up and our shoulders are up near our ears. Um, our traps are too super tight, our pecs are super tight, our burned areas. And when we think we relax, they actually don't come down. So one of the first important things about scapular motion um, and scapular uh, alignment is understand the motions that they go through. So just like we did in clinic, we are gonna have you learn elevation and depression, right? Look, ears, shoulders near ears, elevation, and then depression. You'll find it actually goes down quite a bit further than you think. If you, you don't think so, take your fingertips and sort of force them down towards the ground. Watch how much further down those shoulder blades go. So elevation, depression. Then we're gonna do protraction and retraction, and protraction and retraction. As we learn this, remember, pay attention to your body strategies. A lot of times when we go protraction, we flex at the waist, and we go into retraction, we extend at the waist. We don't want that to move. We just want your shoulder blades to move. So protraction, retraction, elevation, depression. We have a tendency, for most people, burned areas, the upper traps, the pecs, to go up and forward, and we just don't even realize it. And then we try to sit up tall, and our neck goes into extension, our back goes into extension, our shoulders stay here. So with scapular position, now that we understand those, we want to drop the shoulder blades down and back. They have been up and forward, so down and back. Packing that shoulder blade, bringing this shoulder blade into this back opposite pocket, so I go from this position into this position. It's very subtle, it's not a huge motion. Watch, this position to this position. It's a light tone, I'm trying to bring this shoulder blade closer to the spine and slightly down in this way, not using your back and all your compensations. That's what we refer to as packing the shoulder. Bring the shoulder blade back into the torso when most of the time it's lived up and forward. That's your scapular positioning.